In this video, we will discuss the problem sorted and rotated minimum. The problem says that we'll be given an array and we have to find the minimum element in this array where the array is rotated and sorted and all the elements in this array will be distinct. For example, if you see the first test case, so we have got the array as 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4. So the minimum element is 1. So we return 1. Next test case is 3, 1, 2. So the minimum element is 1 here. Next test case is 4, 2 and 3. So the minimum element is 2, we return 2. So the array has been rotated at one point and now the array is sorted and rotated. So we have to return the minimum element. So how can we solve this question? Let's have a look at the approaches here. Now the basic and the brute force way of doing this would be that whatever array has been given to me, let's say if I have been given the array as 5, 6, then after that 1, then after that we have been given 2, 3, 4. Suppose this array has been given to me. What I can simply do is, I can basically iterate throughout the array and store the minimum element by traversing whole array. Okay. So this would take how much time? Because if I'll iterate all the elements of the array, then I'm going to take order of n time. So the result finally would be what? The result will be basically 1 because when I'll iterate, I'll find out that the minimum element, uh, that the minimum element in this array is basically 1. So I'll update my minimum uh, or my resultant element to 1 here. And this will take order of n time because the time taken will be time taken will be uh, same as uh, this will take order of n time the reason being because uh, we are iterating throughout the array and if you see the space complexity it will be constant in nature because we are doing what we are uh, not using any extra space we are just using a resultant variable here but can we do it in a much better fashion yes since we have been given sorted rotated array so we can use the concept of uh, concept of the sorted array and we can apply the binary search by applying some observations here so let's see how we can do it more optimally basically we can apply the concept of binary searching uh, because we have been given a sorted rotated array so we can apply the concept of binary search okay so what we can do is initially if you will see so the low is basically initially standing at zero okay high will be standing at the last index so high will be at eight now when i find out the midpoint mid will come out as what mid will be basically equal to four here okay that that is this particular element here now if you see the element at the mid index is 74 and what is the element at the high uh so element present at the high index is basically 28 now if you observe the element at the mid index it is greater than the element at the high index okay you can observe here that at this point in time the element at the mid index it is what it is greater than the element at the high this indicates what this indicates that the array from the low till mid is sorted okay the element the array from low till mid is sorted and since the mid uh, the uh, the element from the uh, low till mid are sorted in ascending order and since the mid element is high like uh, greater than the arr of high so this indicates that the dip will be found on the right side of mid Okay, so that is why what I should do is I should basically update my low equal to what equal to mid plus one here. Why? Because if my mid index that I am at, if it is having value greater than the error of high, this means that uh, this means that the dip will lie on the right side. The minimum element will lie on the right side. Okay, so that is why we need to update the low to what? To mid plus one here. Now after this, if you will observe, so what will happen now? Now my low will be equal to mid plus one, so it will be standing at the index five now. So now my uh, low will be standing here. If you will observe now, what will happen? So uh, the when I take out the midpoint again, what will I get here? When I take out the midpoint again, so five plus three divided by two. So uh, this will be how much? This will come out as six. Now which element is there at the L index six? So if you observe at the index six, uh, I have got fourteen here. Okay. Now is the element at the mid index is it greater than the element at the high index no because the element at the mid index is 14 it is not greater than the element at the high index so this means that the this means that currently the element at the mid index it is lesser compared to the uh, compared to the element at the high index so this indicates that we can basically uh, conclude uh, the L, uh, that the uh, that the minimum will lie on uh, either on the mid or on the left side of mid because if the mid if the element at the mid index if it is lesser than the arr of high so this means that the right half is basically sorted this means that the right portion is basically sorted from the mid and the minimum 
will lie either on the mid or on the left side of mid so that is why what we will do is we'll update the high to mid here so in the else case what uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to update basically in the else case you can say that we'll update what we'll update the high is equal to mid here because if the element at the mid index if it is what if it is lesser than the error of high so this means that the elements on the right side are sorted in this range and either the midpoint will be the lowest uh, either the midpoint will be the minimum element or the elements on the left side of mid so so the range will be the range for searching should be from low till mid here so that is why we have updated the high to mid at this point in time so what will happen because of this now the high will be updated to mid so high will be updated to what six here now when i find out the midpoint again what will i get when i find out the midpoint now i'll get what i'll get basically five here now at this point uh at this point the mid is standing at the index which is basically five and the element here is 89 now if you observe what do we what do we conclude here now the thing is that the element at the mid index it is greater than the element at the index high because element at the at the mid index is basically equal to 89 and element at the high is basically equal to what it's 14 so the first if condition is getting satisfied that the error of mid it is greater than error of high so this means that the dip will lie on the right side of mid so we'll update the low to what to mid plus one when we do that then the low is equal to what it is equal to six okay because when uh when mid will low will be updated to mid plus one so low will become equal to six here now at this point of time you can observe that when we have a single element then that will be the minimum element itself because if there is a single element in the range this indicates that that particular element is our minimum element and basically you can understand that the element at the index 6 is definitely our minimum element for the given array so what is the terminating condition here you can understand that whenever the low and the high became same so that was our minimum element so the condition that we should keep for termination is that when the low is less than high till that point of time will iterate because for searching there should be at least two or more element in the range when you have single element remaining in the range this means that you have found out the minimum element of the array of the sorted rotated array basically okay and at the end you, you can do what you can return error of low here because that will be the minimum element of the array because at this low index you can see that it is standing at the it is standing at the index 6 and the element here is 14 which is the smallest element of the rotated sorted array here okay sorted rotated array here now let's uh, see the code for this as well what we'll be doing here is we'll basically up, uh, initially update the low to zero high as mid minus one will iterate while low is less than high now why we are doing this because uh, whenever low and the high become same whenever they become equal that will indicate that uh, this will indicate that uh, we have only one single element when only one single element is there in the range this means that element is the smallest or the minimum element present when there are more than two elements uh, when there are more than one element then we'll keep on searching so we'll check if the element at the low index suppose that if the element at the low index now this is one case that we should also keep in mind that if the element at the low index is lesser than the element at the high index so this means that the current sub array that i'm at okay, if the starting element of that range if it is lesser than the high this means that the array is completely sorted so for example this particular case you can observe let's say if i had something like uh, 1 5 uh, 7 and 9 suppose and my low was standing here my high was standing here so if my this is very basic case if my low element at the low index if it is lesser than the high itself so if in this range uh, low to high if the element at the low index is lesser then it will be basically the smallest element of that range now sometimes what might happen is uh, you might have been given a different array let's say you might be given 10 and 20 here also but still after some time if your low is standing here and high is standing here so you can observe that if the element at this low index if it is lesser than the element at this high index then that will be the uh, smallest element possible okay so this is one case that we should keep in mind as well now after that what we will do is uh, we'll uh, find out the midpoint and then as i said if the element at the mid index if it is greater than the element at the high index that is what we observed in the in the basic prior so this means that if the element at the mid index if it is greater than the element at the high index so the so the depth or the minimum element will lie on the right side of mid so update the low to mid plus one otherwise if the element at the mid index if it is less than equal to the high so understand one thing that if the element at the mid index if it is less than equal to the high okay so this means that the array is somewhat like this okay so if the element at the mid index if it is less than equal to the high so this means that the that the minimum element will lie between the low to the mid okay either either the mid can also be the minimum element 
or it will lie somewhere on the left side of mid so the highest point will be mid here okay so we'll update the high to mid here and at the end we need to return what we need to return the element uh the minimum element which will be error of low uh that is the single element remaining here so i hope you have understood this this code will take how much time complexity this code will take the time complexity uh which is same as binary search that will be order of log in here and the space complexity for the code will be order of one now let's try and submit this code as well so let's submit this code now so you can clearly see that the code is getting accepted i hope you have understood this make sure to comment understood in the chat thank you for watching this video